What follows is part two of Ethan's bedtime routine, the setup of the dialysis equipment. This setup differs from country to country. This particular routine is taken from Great Ormond Street and the manufacturer's Baxter. So the next bit of the process is we have to take Ethan's temperature. So this is a temper dot. We take his temperature with these. We take his blood pressure and we have to weigh him. Basically, the reason we do this, we do it every night and every morning. And the reason is just to check that he's not taking on board too much fluid and that his blood pressure is stable. And yeah, the weight will basically tell us if he's putting on too much weight through too much fluid or not. So, and obviously temperature, as I said before, we need to make sure that his temperature is okay. Because if it's not, we need to be taking a sample to the hospital. So, I'm going to take Ethan's temperature now. So here is little Ethan. Hello. Hey, you're going to be a good boy. Doubtful. So as you can see, Ethan's, this is Ethan's um, dialysis catheter. That's his dressing. That also needs changing today. So we'll be changing that shortly. So I'm going to pop his temperature under his arm. Okay, that's to stay there for three minutes. So while we're doing that, we will take his temperature, uh, take his blood pressure. So this appears to be all very tangled up. Probably because James used it last. <laughs> Every chance. Every chance. We used headphones just to cut out the background noise because otherwise it can be a bit difficult, especially when we've got other children shouting "Mommy, Mommy." So it just cuts out the background noise just so you can hear, really hear his heart rate. When you're ready. It's not usually this bad, mm -hmm. normally because I've put it away. I'm not, I'm not sure you should be making out that like, like I never do it. <laughs> Here we go, right, let's just move Ethan up the bed a bit so he's got a bit of space to do his blood pressure. It's worth pointing out that we don't always uh, do it together. In fact, I suppose rarely we do it together. Very rarely, in fact. Yeah, because one of us is always doing something else or looking after the rest of the children, getting them bath, that sort of thing. So this is this is a one person job normally. However, someone needs to hold the camera. So let's put the cuff around there. I'm gonna put the headphones on. Looking good. So just like when you have an ultrasound, if you've obviously ever had a baby, they put that funny gel on. Well, uh, Put that gel on here too, so we can just help us hear Ethan's heart rate. That was quick. Yeah, sometimes I find it right away, other times it takes a little bit longer. Excuse me a minute, I'm just going to get a, just to wipe off the jelly off Ethan's arm. So we can take the top number of his blood pressure. Um, the bottom one doesn't doesn't have any relevance for the dialysis. So to say the top his top number was 78, which is quite normal for Ethan. There you go. Hold it up nicely. <laughs> change his nappy so we can get him um, weighed. Yeah. All right so let's pop Ethan up here to be weighed. Let's keep his modesty I'll focus on the head end. So I have to hold up all his lines just to make sure they're not adding in extra, any extra weight. Ethan quite likes being up here and he gets a different view of his bedroom. He quite enjoys that I think. Okay, so that's 9.805 kilograms today. Mm. What does that tell us? What do you mean? <laughs> it means he's 9.805 kilograms. Is that good or bad? Yes, and that's quite normal for Ethan. He's been hovering around there for quite some time. So he was 9.7 something this morning. Late sevens, I think. So that means he hasn't put on too much weight, so that's good. I mean, if he's above 9.9, .9, then we would think about putting him on a stronger mix bag to get a bit more fluid off. But 9.8 is okay. That's just something we've, something I thought we'd never ever get to grips with, 
working out when he needed stronger fluid or not, but evidently it's something we have come to, to understand quite well. Right, so I'm just going to get him to leap through. He really likes these animals on his wall. Which one are you looking at? Pajamas. He's a tiger. Flying back instead. Whee! Whoa. That was dramatic. There we go, and then that, that temper dot should have cooked by now, so just leave that a second. Okay, so now I've done those, I have to write them down. So it was 9.805, so he was 9.775, and he went on this morning, so not put on a massive amount of weight, so that's good. His temperature is 37.2. So that's okay. Just. <laughs> Just, yes. If it was above, if it was 37.5 or above, then obviously we would help, he would start after thinking about samples and that kind of thing. So 37.2, that's okay. He's generally a little bit warmer in the evening than he is in the morning. Something we've learned about him. And his blood pressure was 78. So I'll write all those down on there and then I can get started on the machine. The first thing, we're going to turn it on at the back. Now basically, so this is his dialysis machine. We've shown this to you before, but not working. So this is it just starting up. It's very clever because it it connects to Great Ormond Street and then we'll send all Ethan's information about his dialysis to Great Ormond Street. So in a minute we'll have to try and connect to the network so that it connects up to Great Ormond Street so it can send him then the information. That can sometimes take a little while, sometimes it doesn't do it at all. So now we're connecting to network. So that would just take a minute, a couple of seconds to do that. Well, actually a bit longer, <laughs> so while that's doing that, I'm going to go and wash my hands. So I have to go and wash my hands for two minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. So, hand washing. And then Alco gel. Not Alco pop. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Whatever happened to Alco pops? Giving away my age. And the next thing we have to do is clean the machine. So I'm going to throw the top wipe away. They usually dry out, so they're no good. Two other wipes. The first one is to clean the machine. So I always go for this bit first because it's the nice hot plate. It makes my hand feel nice. <laughs> so clean the machine all down. Make sure it's all clean. Just clean the area around it. So I usually clean down here by the bags, and then I always clean this bit because if it's going to hit anything, it'll always be over here. Okay, so that's all cleaned down. And then more alcohol gel. So just have to put its weight in, it remembers what it was yesterday, so actually we're the same. We have to round it up because it only has one after the decimal place. So we are the same today. And then we also have to put its blood pressure in. Again it remembers it from yesterday, which was 86 yesterday, and 78 today. So. so we enter those and then we press this red button and it goes to low fill. So it's time to think about it and it says press go to start. So we've already cleaned it. Our bags are here on draining on the side, they're not quite done yet. One of them will go up onto the plate to keep it warm, but because they're not quite drained yet, they're just staying down there for the moment. So the next thing I have to do is press go. It'll ask me if my if my two chambers are mixed, but they are still going, but I'm aware of that, so that's good. And then it'll ask me to load the set. So this is the set. So this is the cassette that goes in. Lots of wires coming from it. And that, that's what carries the fluid all around the machine. So I'm going to insert that one into the machine. So I'm going to open it up. Open this up, which is where it goes. Picking it up, being very careful without touching it because I don't want to damage it. It slots into the machine. Then I can close the door up. And then this little blue. It sits on the front. 
Next thing I have to do is close all these clamps. So they're all different colours for various different reasons, so you know what they attach to. So four, five, and then number six is down here at the bottom. So I'm just looking at Ethan's face, it's like he's paying attention, like this is the first time he's ever seen it. So this is the drain bag, so that's the next thing that goes on. So I'm open this bag. Now these come in packs of two, but because Ethan's only little, he only needs one. So I'm going to throw one of those away. Seems it's like a bit of waste, but they only come in packs of two. So this big clamp needs to be closed, and then this is going to attach to this one over here. This is the drain line. So pull off the top, and attach the two together. And then this bag is going to go down here at the bottom and that, ca that catches all the waste basically. So after the fluid has been into ether and comes out again, that's where it'll all come out. And then that'll be full in the morning and we'll have to throw that away down the sink or down the bath, into the bath. So that's the set loaded. I press that and it's going to start self-testing. That means it's time for me to clear up my rubbish and go and wash my hands again. Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> So another two minute hand wash, some more gel, and now we're going to connect the bags up. As it says, connect the bags, open the clamps. How old are your hands? <laughs> oh, at least 30. <laughs> mm. My 22 year old space. <laughs> I wish. Anyway. That's why I married you. Okay. So this red bag, this red clamp is going to go first. That is the bag that's going to go on the heater. So red hot. See, get it? Red hot. So I'm not going to talk while I take the, the tops off because again there's a, quite a, an infection risk so we're not going to talk while I touch the back. So. <laughs> That's Ethan just to be clear. seal sorry and open this clamp so in between each section of the bag I have to put alcohol gel on again are you being a Rudy? are you being a Rudy? do you not like hearing what mummy's got to say? <laughs> cheeky you cheeky aren't you? so white one's next that's going on the other week bag so that after the red bag is empty at the top, it pulls it from this one. Let's see it again. Get the seal, open the clamp. How could you? This is why your hands look like that. <laughs> So the blue one's going next, so that doesn't mean cold, but it does mean, um, so it's different to all the others because it's a different bag, so that's the extra deal that's going on last one I said about earlier. So that's all the bags and um, the clamps open down there, and then we just got to open this clamp, this is called the patient line, so that is the line that will be attached to Ethan. So we've got to open the clamp there because the liquid has to get up to the top. So to open that one. This one we're leaving clamped because this is an unused line. If he was a bit bigger, needed a bit more fluid, we could attach another bag to that one. Because he's still little, we don't need that one just yet. So let's have a look. So this is where I'm going to pick the red bag up. Now it's drained and it can sit on the top on the heater. So that plate will warm it up so that it's nice and warm when it goes into Ethan's tummy. So he'll ask me again, are the two chamber bags mixed, which they now are, and I'm going to press green and now it's priming. So basically the machine is going to send liquid all the way around, make sure there's liquid everywhere it needs to be, and, and then when it's ready to be connected to Ethan, it'll say connect. So that usually takes about five minutes maybe, so that gives us some time either to read to Ethan, put his feed on, attach his foot to his oxygen monitor, or today we're going to change his 
dressing. This dressing has to be changed every other day. And today is one of those days. So things we've got a little bit of time on this is priming, that's what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. If you did, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions, then please ask them in the comments section below. And we'll try to get back to you as many as we can. Hope you have a less than ordinary week. Bye.